Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu and uh, I think only a few days left for the NEET PG examination. I would like to tell you a concept uh, called as memory consolidation. So I am a neuroanesthesiologist so I would like to explain you what this memory consolidation is and then how is it going to help you when you are actually writing your examination in that uh, 3 hour period. So consolidation is nothing but you know strengthening or solidifying the uh, any object or anything. It's called consolidation. So in this video what we're going to tell you is uh, the uh, information that you read or uh, the topics that you read so it is saved in your uh, memory now okay memory is formed between the neurons in the junctions of the neurons the synapses would be there in the circuits actually in the synaptic junctions your memory is saved mainly in the hippocampus okay so basically what happens is uh, this memory is initially saved as temporary memory but it should it needs to be consolidated to permanent memory memory that is called as consolidation so why actually you require consolidation is when you recall in your examination in the 3 hour period the consolidated memory would actually recall better than the temporary memory so in this 2 3 days time what can you actually do when you, in your revision to consolidate the things that you are doing okay so in this video i'm going to tell you you know in the thumbnail you have seen actually green tea you know and uh, you know popcorn chewing gum movies and all that uh, why did i put them in the uh, thumbnail is these you know particular things including dark chocolate have some elements chemicals which i would explain in the video which can actually help you in the consolidation okay let me tell you uh, you know uh, the important things the first important thing i would uh, like to cover is uh, the uh, sleep so this uh, uh, deep sleep is also called nrem sleep okay nrem where delta activity will be there in the eeg this can come as a question to you and then uh, the second half of the sleep is the rem sleep rem sleep is where you actually dream and do all that so deep sleep component is very important for us and this is where the consolidation of memory happens so i want you to sleep uh, you know 7 to 8 hours in this last 2 3 days because see whatever you are revising now in the morning in the sleep actually it gets consolidated so if it's consolidated you can recall it better in your examination so please sleep well and the second important thing is take some power naps in between so power naps have been proven in the literature that uh, when you take a power nap after studying intensely for 1 1 and a half hour or 2 hours this power nap time the information get get consolidated to permanent memory so that is second important thing related to sleep so but don't try to actually you know uh, overdo it by not sleeping and all that in this 2 3 days you have to sleep properly so the best thing is read the most important information the night before you sleep properly so that is when the information gets stored into permanent memory so first aspect is sleep so sleep well okay and also set the circadian rhythm properly now so what happens is your exam is between 9 to 12 for example so try to get up at 7 o'clock and then be alert during the 9 to 12 in the last 2 3 days so that your circadian rhythm is set for the examination so sleep uh, forms a very very important prerequisite to be set in the last 2 3 days time okay second exercise so exercise if you ask me you have to do in the last 2 3 days even on the day of examination i'll tell you why because exercise releases something called as brain derived neurotropic factor bdnf it is called this brain derived neurotropic factor is a very important element in actually uh, taking care of the neurons so basically if you take neurons as a field where if if brain is a field and neurons are the plants there and then this bdnf is like a fertilizer so this fertilizer will take care that the synapses are formed well between the neurons that is where your memory is consolidated right so basically this particular uh, bdnf is released during exercise and uh, i actually recommend to do half an hour of intense exercise even on the day of your examination which increases the bdnf it helps you in recalling the content that you have read actually got it no so i want you to exercise and then please exercise on the day of examination also so next coming to the thumbnail uh, you know important contents green tea and dark chocolate are very uh, important elements green tea will have l theanine and uh, caffeine and uh, it improves alertness and it keeps you calm and dark chocolate have something called flavonoids both these elements are known to release this bdrf factor just like exercise so which will help you in consolidating the memory and it will also keep you calm so maybe you can e have a green tea before going to the examination or eat a dark chocolate before going to examination or if they really permit you you can have a dark chocolate during the examination also and the next important thing is uh, taking a break and watching a movie i'll tell you why studies have been shown that from saliva they taken cortisol levels and then they studied and they found that if you watch a movie which you like 
which you like which you've seen before don't watch some movie like you know a very emotional movie like saira which was released recently before examination you watch it after the examination because it's a high emotional drama it will hit your brain and you'll keep thinking about that i don't want you that watch a movie or watch some kind of a funny reels watch some kind of a thing which you already seen before just to lighten your mood even this reduces your cortisol levels cortisol is related to stress so there have been studies done in the in the saliva cortisol levels and they proven that the cortisol levels will decrease when you watch a movie so i want you to watch some funny reels and movies in between the last two three days don't take it very serious because you have done your part these two three days are not going to decide but you have to set your brain rate for recalling during the examination and the last element i would like to cover is the chewing gum so chewing gum studies have done and what they found is chewing gum when you chew there are certain changes happen to the brain and then the it seems you know you will be alert you will be more uh, you know the recall would be better and all that the reason being some studies are saying the cerebral blood flow would increase when you chew okay that may be in the evolutionary uh, you know standpoint you chew chewing is a type of uh, mechanism for survival maybe god has designed the system like that so chew, so if you uh, are chewing a chewing gum and uh, maybe it might help you when you are actually recalling during examination so that is one more thing i would recommend but start chewing from now the same flavor you try to use during exam time also so this is another uh, hack that you can actually use to stimulate your brain so to summarize sleep is a very important thing i told you how to actually uh, space it and have some power naps and try to sleep more in the night and the second important thing is exercise which i told which increases bdrf factor green tea dark chocolate both will re- uh, due to their chemicals they release the bdrf in the brain which again helps you in consolidation of the memory chewing gum is another thing keep uh you know mood light by watching some light movies not some high impact movies which will you know instigate your uh, emotion and all that just simple movies which you have seen before please watch them just to keep your mood right so these are the small tips which i can give as a neuroanesthesiologist since i understand brain uh these are scientific basis to retrieve retrieve your memory well in the 3 hour period so good luck guys good luck and the last two three days are very important you know good luck and you will crack your examination after that we'll do a lot of videos about how to actually choose a specialty and we can do a lot of videos about how to actually which colleges so you have to choose during the counseling time and all that will be done in the channel so good luck bye